Hello my friends, Rotodil here and today I want to tell you about one of the most amazing laptops that I've ever tested. I've been using it for a couple of days now and as you can see here it is, that's the Gigabyte Aero 14 OLED. Now this is a slim, really lightweight PC for people like me who are actually doing a lot of video editing, gaming maybe, and still need a small lightweight computer or laptop. So here it is. I'm just gonna show you everything because I have it unboxed already. I actually tested it uh, from all over the uh, gaming aspects that I usually test uh, laptops and I'm going to tell you all about it today. So thank you very much for joining to my video. I just want to let you know that if you are watching me for the first time, you are more than invited to subscribe. I basically review gadgets here on YouTube. That's all that I do. And I would love to see you on my future gadget reviews because I have some really cool stuff coming up. So let's just begin by first of all looking at the laptop itself. The OLED screen here is amazing. It's a 14 inch OLED and as you can see it looks awesome. It also supports HDR600 which is really looking great and you can really see the screen from many like ridiculous angles like I'm showing you guys right now. The keyboard here is a local keyboard and English is not my first language so sorry if I do butcher the language itself. It is backlit um, so you get the light that you need when you are working on this kind of laptops during the evening or night. This laptop has a lot of power. The CPU inside is the Intel i7 13th gen 13700H. That's the CPU, the, one of the best CPUs they have for mobile um, based laptops that really value their battery. Okay, not the performance, the battery. And that also means that it's also a 14 core CPU and it has 20 threads on it, so it can do a lot. I did test it out. I'm going to show you the results if you want to see at least my benchmarks. Um, and I also tested a lot of other things when it comes to the GPU which we will talk about in a moment. So first of all, the benchmark results are really good here. I ran the Cinebench R23 on it and I got 13,746 points on the multi-core score and the single core score was 1915. I'm also going to put these in the video description just so if I mess up the numbers you'll have a good summary in the video description. Also in the video description is a link to see how much this laptop costs and depends on the pricing and availability it might change obviously. So we talked about the CPU Next thing I tested was the uh, GPU on it. This is a laptop that you can actually play games on and that's awesome. I mean, just look at the size of it and look at the width of the laptop itself. Having this as a productivity or work laptop and also as a gaming laptop is kind of insane if you ask me. So it has a nice GPU on it. It's the newest from Nvidia. It's basically the Nvidia um, 4050. So they released a couple of new uh, GPUs for laptops. I did the test that I usually, usually do when testing gaming rigs and on 3D Mark Time Spy I got 6751. That's the score I got on it. Well, the CPU score here on this specific test was 11,790 and the graphic score was 6,278. That should give you comparison to a rig or a desktop that you are already probably using. So, and by the way, if you just look at the scores here, that's probably before doing some overclocks because just looking at the graphs, I'm seeing that I'm not at the, uh, probably at the average when it comes to this specific GPU. That's the time spy test on 3D Mark. I also did the uh, fire strike tests and here I got 14,650. Just gonna show you guys. And that's the GPU results on this laptop, which is, if you ask me, enough to play all the modern games at least at full HD. So you got the scores for fire strike and the Cinebench and the Time Spy on 3D Mark. The next thing I want to talk about is actually using this laptop. Like I mentioned, I've been using it for a couple of days now. I like that it has stereo speakers. However, they are directed a bit down, as you can see here on the side. This is the left speaker over here. And on the other side, 
that's the right speaker. So the directionality of the sound seems like it's going to the table instead of going to your face, which kind of gives it a bit of a muffle vibe to it. So it's something that I gotta mention, it's probably one of the biggest negatives that I have for this laptop. Now this is a really lightweight and mobile laptop. You can see how much it actually falls down to. And I really love the way that you could probably put this in your bag and forget about it. The charger or the AC adapter to it is also lightweight. It's a 130 watts uh, AC plug and this is around 500 grams, 540 grams uh, to its weight. So having both of these in the bag doesn't kill your back and that's an amazing thing for any kind of person who does a lot of work while working on his laptop. Now opening the, opening the laptop up you will see that this is the maximum you can open it up to and I have seen some other brands that actually go all the way or even turning it 180 back or so, or so it's 360 back to uh, a tablet mode. This doesn't seem to be an option with this laptop. That's the maximum angle you can have with it. And in, regarding connectivity, that's really, I mean, you really get all that you need. You have two Thunderbolt 4 USB type C plugs over here on the right, which is awesome because if you are working with media devices and storage you'll get fast speeds with these another interesting thing is the back ports which we will talk about in a moment and on the other side we also have this uh, micro sd uh, adapter port over here that's amazing that means that i don't have to carry another adapter i have the port built in on my left side of the computer this type c port is the ac or power plug and you also have a combo jack for your headset or headphones or microphone. So one thing I should mention, if you are a lefty, you will have the power adapter connected on the left side. That means that working like this means that you have a cable over here. So that's something I should mention for all of you lefties uh, that might be using this laptop. And I, I don't really understand why it's not on the back side of the laptop as they have been putting already plugs over here. You have a type A super speed uh, plug, which is great that you still have one and you have a full size HDMI port. So everything that you need for connectivity, that super important HDMI port and a type A and type C ports, a lot of ports on it, enough to get you working with the mouse, uh, external keyboard and all of the rest. So we talked about the monitor, we talked about the keyboard, it's backlit. I really like type, typing on this. It has good distance when it comes to the um, keyboard distance going in. And also I really like the fact that the uh, touchpad on this laptop is big. I mean, it's huge compared to the laptop size and it really works well with all of the um, software that I already ran on it. I just used this touchpad and I haven't used any external mouse, this is for my uh, streaming computer. So yeah, that's basically, I guess that's basically it when it comes to the big things. I have it in the 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR5, uh, which is getting the job done. I would probably wanna have a bit more or 42 gigabytes at least if I upgrading this. And also looking at the speed of the RAM on this, it's rated at 6,000. 400 megahertz, which is awesome. Just means that this is a high speed uh, DDR5 memory. And as you can see, the 16 gigabytes. Also the Wi-Fi here is Wi-Fi 6E, which is great. A lot of uh, future pool for you on this uh, computer. And also I got one terabyte of storage. Would probably wanna have a bit more if I'm doing my video work on this computer as I could easily do that with this uh, specific GPU and CPU. So yeah, it's, it's a really interesting laptop. I mean, it's lightweight. It actually is gaming capable and you kinda have it all in a, this really small type of uh, really neat monitor on it. So I really like it. I think it's one of the best laptops that I've ever tested and I definitely recommend it. 
besides the things that I mentioned that are uh, talking about the speaker's quality and its directionality. The uh, fan system on this is really silent. I mean, it's one of the most silent laptops that I've used. It has, a two, it has two fans over here on the back and uh, you do hear that obviously when you game on it or when you do some video editing that use the GPU. But other than that, it's like ultra silent. It basically doesn't exist. And that's amazing compared to many other laptop brands that uh, actually have too much noise. So yeah, I actually very recommended. Links in the video description down below. Subscribe if you want to see me. I promise you some cool gadgets just like this one. And I am sorry if I really screwed up the language. I was Rotodil. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my future videos. Here are some more recommendations, including one of the most awesome gadgets that I've tested recently, which is a vibrating vest. You could connect even to this laptop and actually feel the music and feel the games you are playing. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.